And we're back. What's up? Adis here with another quick video. Now, this time I'm going to go through my blood work. Um, I was, um, let's see, it was 1.5 years, 1.5, a year and a half in after going on a plant-based vegan diet. And um, maybe I use that as my, <laughs> as my thumbnail. Um, anyway, so um, before I get into this, and actually I'll put this in at the end of the video, and I'll, and I'll read off, um, you know, how everything went. I just want to mention is that for some reason there's this thing in um, whatever society or something where like people think that if someone's on a vegan or plant-based diet, like they need to make sure they need to be extra careful with their nutrients and their vitamins and making sure their levels are good and not going to be insufficient um, and something. And that's not really like how it works. I, I don't understand. It's like, well, if we're in the U.S. and the U.S. is the unhealthiest, the people in the U.S. are the unhealthiest people in, out of any other developed country, this is something that everyone, everyone should be doing, okay? Um, you know, v, B12, vitamin D, uh, magnesium, um, probably folate, right? <laughs> these, these are things um, that everyone should be, you know, thinking about um high cholesterol uh diabetes like if we're so unhealthy and only three percent of the u.s population considers themselves vegan okay so this is 97 percent of people that are super you know have this risk of being unhealthy like compared to other developed countries so this is not a, a vegan thing so when when um if you're watching this and maybe if you're not, you're not plant-based or you're not vegan or something, um, you know, have you, you know, have you gotten your blood work? Do you get it every few years? Do you know what your levels are? Are you taking um, what you need to be taking considering what maybe you might be low in or something? Okay, so it's not just someone who's on a plant-based vegan diet. Everyone should. Everyone. Absolutely everyone. So it's, it's, it's really weird. It's really interesting. Um, and, um, I guess that's it. Um, let's, uh, let's jump into it. All right, here we go. Let's go through the blood work. As you can see, we have my, uh, name at the top. A date is on the left-hand side, June 18, 2018. And consistent throughout the document, as you see in the center of the page is... In range and out of range. So anything that is right, pretty obvious, straightforward. <laughs> in range on the left, anything that's out of range is on the right. That uh, would be in the right column. And the first thing is, I don't know how to say this, homocytine, all right, 9.5. So it's supposed to be left then 11.4. Uh, has to do with folate, right? B12 says here in the paragraph. So, um, you know, you can pause, read, whatever you like. Let's go to the next one. So... Right, the only thing that I was deficient in here is vitamin D. So I work indoors and I wasn't taking, uh, you know, vitamin, multivitamin at all or any type of supplement. Uh, the only thing I was consistently taking was uh, B12 at the time. So um, I'm currently taking vitamin D. And um, so we're good with uh, vitamin D currently. Uh, but here it was 19. It's, it's supposed to be... Uh, 29 or actually greater than yeah 29 or greater basically greater than greater than 30 would be optimal uh blood type there looks like type o next is page here testosterone so it says um supposed to be between 250 and 1100 i'm at 541 or i was at 541 at the time free testosterone between 35 and 155 I was at 72. Awesome. And let's continue here. Go through quickly. What else we got here? So this is the next section of um, complete metabolic panel, I believe. Glucose, fasting, sodium, potassium, chloride, carbon dioxide, urea, nitrogen, creatine. All that stuff in range. Awesome. Um, calcium, protein, um, for those that care, right, protein, <laughs> uh, I'm between, I'm at seven, so it's supposed to be between 6.1 and 8.17, awesome, albumin, albumin, global, globaline, am I saying globalin, maybe, 
it's probably gold, glow balloon. Um, anyway, so continue down that. Everything's in range, as you can see, in range column. Okay, so this was again uh, about a year and a half, almost two years on a plant-based diet. And next column, lipids. So this is important, right? So cholesterol, right? Total cholesterol is supposed to be less than 200 at 151. HDL, I believe is right, is a good cholesterol. It's supposed to be greater than 40, I was at 58. Uh, cholesterol H and HDL ratio, 2.6, so you're supposed to be less than five, awesome. And then LDL, bad cholesterol, very important. So less than 100, you're awesome. And I've been following some uh, channels and uh, some studies and stuff, and they say if you're like 75 or lower, you're basically heart attack proof. So <laughs> hopefully, <clears throat> hopefully uh, I'll uh, I'll be heart attack proof. And um, yeah, the number one killer, right? So the number one killer in the world, in the U.S. especially, is heart attack. So um, it, LDL, bad cholesterol, is very important. So it's like the number one indicator for that. So uh, let's continue. Triglyceride, non-HDL, um, both great. So 87 for triglyceride, triglycerides. <laughs> Supposed to be less than 150, awesome. Uh, Non-HDL cholesterol, less than 130, I was at 93, awesome. Iron, so iron, I was at between 50 and 180, so I am, and it says I'm at 66. Um, this person, the person I went to, the doctor I went to said that my iron was maybe a little, you know, the low end. So, yeah, I see that. Um, so, you know, just something to keep an in, in, in eye at, I guess. And let's see, let's continue. There's something else there, THS, I don't even know. Um, okay, next page, as you can see, awesome. Um, everything in range here also. Um, I don't even know, again, what all these things are. So yeah, go ahead, pause it, take a look. Um, everything in range, the urine analysis, complete urine analysis, oops, sit it there. Uh, everything in range again. Uh, I'm not gonna you know, read out all these things, but awesome, in range. And the next page, this is the last page. So here's vitamin B12, all right, so I know, um, I probably mentioned in my previous videos that B12 is not just a thing that a vegan should be concerned with. This is all people should be concerned with. Um, and everybody should take a supplement, right? And and I would say, you know, vitamin supplement, those words are kind of interchangeable. So it's important to note that a lot of these things is not just to be under something or be slightly over something. Sometimes they have a low end and a high end. So you also don't want to be too high in certain things. You don't want to be too low in certain things. So I know there's vitamins out there, and if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and you're taking a vitamin, you might have too much of something, which is you know unnecessary. Not that it would be a, a disaster, um, but you know, if you're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, right, and getting all your nutrients through your food, you won't really need to take these, you know, super um, whatever potent multivitamins and stuff. So. Vitamin B12, there's folate, so it should be greater than 5.4, 21.8. Folate has to do with like plant right? vegetables, or I believe. <laughs> um, so that seems like a pretty nice high number. 21 is supposed to be greater than 5.4. And we got a hemoglobin. This is interesting. Um, so it says for, this is for the purpose of screening for the presence of diabetes. So hemoglobin. A1C is supposed to be less than 5.7. I'm at a 4.9. Great. And it says, um, if you, so it says less than 5.7, that is the absence of diabetes. I think that's the number, no, the second thing that the killer of right people is cancer. Diabetes is very pop, uh, not popular. <laughs> And it's running rampant in, in, in the U.S., I guess. Uh, especially at a young age, too, right? Kids, like, it's like 33% chance of having pre-diabetic or being diabetic. Diabetic, Jesus. Um, so, and if it's greater than four, uh, 6.5, then most likely have diabetes. So, I'm at a 4.9. Awesome. And I guess that's it. So, thank you. And, uh... Let's see, leave a comment, ask some questions, um, share, <laughs> and uh, 
like, subscribe. Peace.